in my last video, I talked about symbolic constants and how symbolic constants can be redefined like this. But if you think about it, that's a little bit uh, contradictory because then a symbolic constant isn't really constant, right? Well, then how do you make a symbolic constant constant? That's where the EQU directive comes in. So if you exchange this equal sign for EQU, then uh, I run this, you'll get errors because now you cannot redefine uh, mom age. You cannot redefine the symbolic constant uh, in any way. Even if you type, even if you do that, you see you get errors. You're not, you, it, you can't redefine it. So that's what the EQU directive does. And um, there are uh, three main ways to define a symbolic constant with the EQU directive. One is by expression, symbol, and text. So um, expression is just like this here, just, um, you know, set it equal to a number. Uh, by a symbol, it just means you set it equal to uh, another symbolic constant. That's the second way, and um, you could also set it equal to text. So let's make a string here. And um, you type your text inside the less than and greater than uh, characters. So, hello world. Just like this. So now, um, this symbolic constant string is set equal to hello world. Uh, you could also, let's say you wanted to do a floating point number. You put that inside uh, less than and greater than symbols, 3.14. Um, th that'll work too. And you could do something like this, for example. Uh, you know, 10 times 5. This will be 50, put 50 uh, uh, in, in num2, and uh, that will all compile. Yep, so um, that's what the EQU directive does. Now, we can put symbolic constants uh, in registers. For example, I want to put um, num inside the EX register, and what is num? Well, mom age is 40 hexadecimal, mom age, num is equal to mom age, so we are going to put 40 hexadecimal inside the EX register. Okay, so there's, of course, um, the junk value inside the EX register, and that should turn to 40 hexadecimal. All right, cool. It does. Okay, so that worked as expected, right? Um, so, but you might think to yourself, what about this? What about the string? Um, can you put a string inside, you know, uh, the EX register? H how would that work? Well, let's see. And the answer to that is no. We get these errors here, the syntax error. Okay, so then what's the point of having a symbolic constant that is a string? What could you do with it? Well, what you could do is you could um, make a, an array. Let's do a byte array here. Okay, I just made a byte array out of the string. So now each one of these characters is an element inside the byte array. Okay, and now we can put um, the array inside the EX register. But we have to change this to AL because it is a byte array. If it was a D word array, then you could do that. but uh, it's a byte array, and byte arrays require um, the EAL portion of the EX register. Okay, so what is this going to do? This is going to put the first element of the string H inside the AL register. But it's not going to put the letter H, it's going to put its ASCII value. So watch here. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead, step over. It puts 40 hexadecimal. Now let's now let's put the H in there. All right, it puts 48. So why 48? 
48 is capital H's ASCII value. So if you look up on Google the ASCII table, we look for capital H here, and its hexadecimal value is 48. Cool. Now, what about if I wanted to put the second element, or the third, or the fourth, or the fifth? Then you do either plus, you know, one to get the second element, plus two, third, or whatever. So let's get, um, let's get the, oh, okay, that would be plus, plus three, plus four, right? One, two, three, uh, actually it'd be zero. One, two, three, four, cool. Array plus four, so let's see what that does. Cool. So I'm gonna step over. I put six F, all right, so does that match with um, lowercase o? Yeah, 6f is lowercase o's hexadecimal ASCII value. Alrighty, so that's just a introduction of the EQ directive, and thank you for watching.